thing. Today I thought I would share with you kind of a secret I have for years. Like only my kids know this stuff and if they're watching they're going to be like, Mom, um, how I plan my meals and things for years. I always have things home cooked, ready for everyone, and everybody's like, how do you do that? Well, I have something today and even um, I put a downloadable of the one I use. I have a PDF that I use um, to plan once for the entire year. And here's the thing. I'm the kind of person I don't want to keep planning, planning, planning. And then like life happens, you get busy, right? Have you ever had that happen to you where you're just like, I don't even have time to plan. So you don't have to. The thing I'm going to show you today is going to take care of that. Three letters. Today we are building words. We're doing she, we're doing some sight words, and we're doing some other words that we've learned in phonics. And so we have she. Thank you. Thank you for showing us your she. Let's see what we can do. No. Da, da. On the. Er. What two letters uh, are uh, er? Uh, 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 uh. uh. Winter. Under. Under. Nice work. So I took a quick break from the kids, got myself some coffee. I don't know how people keep these machines clean. I mean, they're just splashing all over the place. But anyway, um, after I got myself some coffee, I went upstairs. I kind of went upstairs to hide in my daughter's room. I haven't done a reveal of how this room is decorated, but I did a lot of work. I've shown you guys, some of you before on Instagram, but I got some work done quietly. Um, there is, yeah, I probably should do a reveal soon, maybe in the next video or so, but yeah, got a lot of work done here quietly and then wanted to show you something <laughs> really funny, um, that I bought that I think is the most amazing thing ever that I wanted to share that I think everybody should have, inshallah. I want to say right away that this is not sponsored. This, <laughs> this is going to be an interesting one. So I'm hoping by the title, you can tell what it does. <laughs> So it is the contemporary bidet that easily attaches to your toilet and transforms your whole life. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I just had to show you the packaging because it was quite smart. But yeah, it, it, I mean, this is every Muslim's dream, dream gift, right? <laughs> it's a paddle. Now, let me tell you why I did this. My kids, I was struggling with them. And if you're a mom and you have kids, for them to properly clean themselves after the bathroom. I was noticing that cleanliness was not happening. So I sat with myself and I was like, hmm, how can I make this experience better? So I went online. I looked at many, many products. This is not sponsored whatsoever and ended up trying this one. So another thing is, again, whenever I have problems um, I in my life, I try to think of like, what are the stress causers? For me, it was my kids not wanting to eat all their vegetables. So I have a little solution for that. Like I try to be productive in that, right? And the other one was we wanted to go somewhere fast. I was giving them not fast food, but not things as healthy as I wanted to because I couldn't do something that was hot and also cold. Like it didn't, I didn't have a way to, to go things. So I found myself buying things on the road, spending money and also, um, yeah, not having the best of choices I normally would have fed my kids. So I'm going to show you my solution right here. And then essentially I went shopping all over Amazon. Um, and these are like Japanese style ish. Um, but they're very durable. Like the material, I mean, it is just so solid. Like this thing is going to be around forever. Um, and it is a multi box bento basically. And it has this, so you could slide it out. You could put a sandwich in here or you could put it half and you can have two different um, snacks in here. Um, this actually comes out completely. I could pull it out completely and clean it very easily. All this stuff is dishwasher safe so I could throw it in. Again, like none of this stuff is sponsored, but the, the um, how do you call that? Pièce de resistance, like the big important thing I loved was this because it had a hot canister inside and it was very durable. Like overall, like I could close this thing up. Things weren't going to leak. Things weren't going to get crazy. Now, just showing you here, this can be used for cold or for hot. And, um, essentially if you really wanted to, I think you might be able to line this with something to cool it underneath. But yeah, this was very, the ceiling was very good on this. I could easily take this out. Even this unscrews. One of the things that always deters me from buying things is when like things get cooky and I can't properly clean them. So this cleans very easily. It comes off. I could throw that in the dishwasher, throw this, this, all the pieces. These come out as well. 
So essentially, and I'll link it below, I got these off of Amazon. They are basically little cutters for your vegetables. I'll see if I can um, put some video in here of my kids when they're doing it. But yeah, we did um, use these. Oh my gosh, when I broke these out, they love them. All of a sudden they wanted to eat all their vegetables because they wanted to make them in um, cute shapes. So my kids are old enough to make their own. So I basically gave them to them as like their project to fill their box. So less work for me as well. And they have these cute little things where you could use to push through the hole so you can make sure they come out because they, the, the veggie does get stuck there. Then you put it in the hole and it will make sure it just pops out. They like that too. It looks so cute. Reminds me of those honey bears. Okay, so totally unexpected. And don't mind my half finished wall. I'll explain that in a second. Um, to totally unexpected, my husband decided to take the kids now. When your mom and your husband decides to take the kids or somebody grabs your kids and you were not planning on having your kids be taken, you just go, oh, what am I able to do now? So for myself, I was like, ooh, what do I have to do? I have so many things. Hold on, let me not get taken away and not use that time wisely. So I asked myself, what is a promise that I made to Allah? What is the promise I made to myself? And what is the promise I made to somebody else so I could use that time for that? So the answer for a lot is I wanted to um, continue to make extra prayers. That's what I'm doing in 2022. I'm just trying to do like always, always the on my tongue even more or more prayers. So I chose to do that. Then for myself, I was in my workout clothes. That's why I was working out. So catching me still in those. And for you, because a lot of you guys ask me about um, recipes and how I manage my time life balance. So a lot of you guys know we're going to be talking more about life balance after Ramadan because I'm going to show you how to maintain your gains after. But for today, what I want to share with you super fast is exactly how I do recipe planning. And I put a PDF below so you guys can do it too. If you want, let's go. Okay, so what I essentially did is I printed out the PDF that I have right here, and I'm going to kind of just read some of the points I wanted to check out, and then you could download it below. But I'll show you some kind of like scrolls here of the stuff I mentioned so you can see it in my real life. I'll make sure to like insert some clips. But um, yeah, I want to share with you this really quick way to plan your meals once and not have to plan them again. I've been doing this for at least probably 10 plus years. I don't meal plan on Sundays anymore and da da da. It's just like too much work. I'm like, how can I make that even more efficient? So here we go. So the first thing you see on page one is it's going to be all about how to use the planner. It's going to tell you how to do it, how to use everything with it so that won't be an issue. Okay, so you can go through the first page, check it out. And inshallah bismillah ta'ala that this, the next page is going to be the seasonal fruits and vegetables. And what happens is in different countries, you're going to find that people have different fruits and vegetables. So I'm here in the U.S. Um, in the eastern coast. So you might have it something slightly different you're watching in another country or time zone or whatever. But the point is, you know what is seasonal in your area. So I did mine based again on the U.S. Like... Right now it's winter, so it's listing out for you all the veggies and fruits that are um, seasonal. Why is that important? Because when you buy things seasonally, they're cheaper and they taste better. So thank you. That's exactly what I think we want is to pay less for things that are more delicious. And also it's more health conscious as well because they're actually at their peak in ripeness. So they're better for digestion and everything else. So in chill business Adam, that's what I do. The next thing you're doing in a flip through, you're going to see I broke it up into seasons of fall, winter, spring, and summer because I plan once for each season and then never again. And I have an actual binder that I'll break out at some point here and show you that I use to do this. And basically these binders end up getting passed on to my children. I've actually shared a lot of these recipes. Maybe I'll try to link it below. Also in my, um, I think I have a fall uh, cookbook and a summer one, which is just a collection of some of my favorite things. My favorite drinks for those seasons, my favorite like fast salads or stews that can be like, you know, make ahead, like things that are just easy, delicious and beautiful and healthy and on the cheap. I put them all in there. So you're welcome to get these. These are all completely free. Like everything's free. Okay, so the other thing is I have an actual recipe bank. So what I did was when I did my brainstorming, which I suggest to you, sorry, my hand was getting tired and you can see I'm still painting, but I'm not gonna show you everything when it's done yet. And this is my eucalyptus tree. I had to ask you guys what kind of a tree that was because I wasn't sure when I had um, got it at Trader Joe's what it was. What had happened in this case where I just came up with 15 or 20 recipes and then I'm constantly rotating them. I mean, honestly, I think at some of them I came up with 30. So it was like, um, you know, I have um, once or twice a week, I might have, you know, this type of thing or that type of thing. But I have these 
20 to 30 recipes or 15 to 20, whatever you want to come up with. And then I just rotate them all through the season. And so there's days where we're going to eat out. There's days where maybe I'll do something that's pre-made from the store. I don't have to actually cook. But if it's something I have to actually cook, I sat there and in one shot, I just planned these 15 to 20 meals and that was it. So what happens is every fall, I whip out these meals, right? But then when the winter comes in, I whip out my other 15 to 20. I just plan for one hour on one Sunday and I come up with all these meals. You could literally go on Pinterest and just download. You could literally just pull them out of random cookbooks and take pictures and put them on a document and stick them all in a file and that's it. You could just literally just print them off the internet and stick them in a binder or a folder and just call it quits. But the point is you've done that work and therefore you know you have them all planned. And so my kids never get tired, my husband never gets tired of my meals because they switch every season. Every season they get 15 to 20 new meals. Now you might say 15 to 20 new meals in a span of you know, um, 60 to 90 days or whatever it is, you know, depending on the season. And I'm like, yeah, because the thing is, we're going to do them in different orders. We're going to sometimes eat out in between. Nobody usually gets tired. I mean, sometimes you might have some leftovers, eat the same thing two nights in a row. I mean, like this is real life. If we think about it, we don't often have masterly crafted meals all the time. Now that's just the first year though. But then every year I don't meal prep anymore. So what happens is every season I'm like, ooh, I saw these really cute two to three recipes and I'll just add them into the repertoire. So if I wanted to have it more or less every year I could add two or three or four new recipes, but generally it's all made for the rest of my life. So I have four binders, one for spring, summer, winter, fall. I take them out in the seasons and those are what I cook. Do you get me? And so they're all pre-planned and I already know. Now, if you wanna go the extra mile, if you wanna make sure you're super planned, you will go and you will make a recipe, excuse me, a grocery list for the entire thing. So I know if I'm doing these recipes in fall, this is my fall grocery list. I plan it once for my whole life, right? And I already know that these things that I'm picking are based off of seasonal fruits and veggies because I've already looked at that list to determine what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give you one last example. There's an awesome website that I used to use a long time ago. I don't use it so much, but it's awesome for things like this. For example, on my list, let's say in the winter time right now, let me see what we have. In the winter time right now, we have, let's say it was sweet potatoes. I would put sweet potatoes in this website. It's called, I think, 101 Cookbooks. And she will give me a million recipes with that and I could just print off two or three of them and I'm good in that area, side dishes, right? And then um, I can go into another one, like whatever it is, turnips, cauliflower, whatever it is for winter, and then I can print off two or three side dishes recipes for this, done. And that's how I can do it. If you go to these websites where they just have just the veggie. So I put just the veggie, just the fruit, and I come up with a ton of options. That is a great way to do it. Or you can just have some recipes in your house. Think about when do I use that recipe with those vegetables? Would that go in the spring? You can just take all the recipes you have and put them in different categories, like whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. The point is when you plan seasonally, it is cheap, it is easy, and it is actually a one-time planning situation. That is the big deal here. It's a one-time planning situation. All right. So that was it. That was my big spiel on that. If you want to know more about how I do that, I think I put this whole thing into a podcast as well. You could hear even more. And Shell Business Audio will get even more details. But definitely get the PDF below so you can see exactly how to do it in detail. And Shell Business Audio. <laughs>